Piper Kennedy, everybody. Get over here. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all right. We got a lot to cover in a short period of time, so we're going to jump right in. Who's ready to 10x your business and 10x your life? We got the man, the myth, the legend. He's up on the screen. GC, Uncle G. I love your artwork, man. That's a new thing. How you doing, pal? Hello, Great to see you, man. Always good to see you, Eric. Great I'm, to be here. Thank you for having me. Happy holidays to everybody. And thank you, thank you, thank you, backgammon, man. We only got to play one time. You got me. You barely got me. We got to continue that game. But hey. Know your audience, dude. Know your audience. Okay? <laughs> know your You're audience, just teasing folks. me. So listen, I know you're in the middle of a boot camp. I know, you, I know you got stuff going on. I know you're right in the middle of doing all this stuff. So I appreciate you taking the time. But when I think about, you know, yesterday was about making a decision. Today was about acceleration. And when I think about acceleration, I think about you. When I think about next level thinking, when I think about getting shit done, when I, I told him yesterday, one of the things when I think about when I think about you, you turn an idea into something real faster than anybody I know. You don't let a to-do list linger. No, it's you. true. Thank you. It's yeah, true. No, thank you. I appreciate you saying that. A, that's quite a compliment. Well, it's it's just observation. Because, um, you know, because Eric, look, it's very, you know, it's, it's easy. And, and there's so much advice today available everywhere in the world. Uh, but, but Eric, the fact that you see what I'm doing every day and that I'm turning ideas that, that you and I could sit down in our office and I'm like, hey, Eric, I'm going to go do this. And then bang, the next thing you see me is doing it like, um, Muhammad Ali used to do this, you know, before he ever won a, won a title, he, he basically told people, I'm gonna drop him in the first, you know? And, and he, he would make these big claims, not because he knew he could tell the future, but because he wanted to hold himself accountable yes. and responsible. Yeah. And so for all of you out there, you dreamers out there, like you need to invest in your own marketing. Okay. The marketing is not, I'm not talking about Facebook and Instagram. I'm talking about what you're telling your family what you're telling your friends, what you're telling yourself, what you're telling your neighbor, what you're telling yourself every day, even after a lifetime of failures. Yes. And, yes. and so I, I'm constantly promoting, okay? I'm going to go do this now. I'm going to build a $40 billion real estate fund. You know, I, it used to be a billion, <laughs> and then we got in the neighborhood of a billion. I'm like, shit, I'm going to go to two billion. We hit four billion this year. Yep. And now before I can even get to four billion, I'm like, okay, 40 billion. Let's do 40 billion. I'll start telling everybody over and over. That's and the amazing. reason, guys That's and gals, amazing. the reason I'm doing that is because I need to hear myself say it. Because I don't believe it the first time or the second time or the third time. And then all of a sudden on the fourth or fifth time, I'm like, you know what? Shit, that's this I'm starting to get comfortable saying this. Yeah. And, and, and that's for all of you out there that are saying it to yourselves or you're writing it down on your own little pad or however you do it. I would just tell you, and look, I don't know that I'm right on this, uh, but I would just tell you that um, if you're willing to put yourself at risk and tell everybody what you're up to and take the heat and the challenge because your friends and family do not understand you. And, and the fact that you think they understand you and don't understand why they don't understand you is the problem. It's not that they don't understand you. Yeah, so let me ask you this, Grant. We talked yesterday about branding. I also think about you as a person who is serious about building your brand and being seen and being known around the world uh, because that helps you accomplish what you need to accomplish. And we told everybody here as network marketing professionals, they need to brand themselves. And the, the big earners are doing that and they made a decision to do it before they were big earners. So we talked about branding, but what I'd like to hear from you, because I know we have a limited amount of time. What I'd like to hear from you, Grant, is if people are just trying to figure out how to grow their business, how to 10X their network marketing business, and where's the first area that they need to invest in order to be able to turn that into reality? Yeah. Yeah. So, so look, first, when we talk about investing, I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about time, energy. Like it's all the same to me, money, time, energy, all of it's the same little thing. You, you, you guys want to save money, but the reality is 
you know, you're trying to save time too and energy. I'm not trying to save any of it. I'm trying to use all of it. And if you study the wealthy, the most successful people, they, they're, they're trying to invest their time, invest their energy, invest their resources, and that includes money. And this is why so many people, I believe, fail uh, because they, they're trying to take money off the board. You know, you make a little money and you're trying to save it. You got a savings account with Wells Fargo, another one with Bank of America. You got a little retirement account. None of that's going to save your ass. The only thing that's going to save you is your production. So it is actually for any of you that believe in the secret or the law of attraction or anything, all these savings accounts you have, these checkings, these are just plan B and C. And you don't, like if you want to be successful, you need to have a plan and make that plan work, period. Invest in yourself first, over and over and over and over again until you get fruit. Number two, you invest in your business, over and over and over and over again until you get more fruit. And the third thing, when there's enough fruit, there's enough, there's enough, you should start investing in real assets that won't disappoint you, that are passive income, not network marketing income, that's earned income. And I hear a lot of people in the network marketing space talk about their recurring income as passive. That is not passive. You work your ass off to get that. And if you spent time to get it, if you invested one penny, one, one penny, and then one moment, that's earned income. I'm talking about taking money off the table, investing in something that pays you when you sleep and when you're not growing your team. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah, it's great. If and you got you, your, your audience applauses perfectly. Aren't they amazing? They're unbelievable. I mean, it's the best. <laughs> it's spectacular. Hey, and here's the other way we could do it. Everybody, everybody show Grant some hands. Show Grant some hands and some or, or, uh, applause. See, see, see. Can you see it all? See, yeah. they're all with I'm you, like, man. All those people actually even real, man. They're real. Every single one of them's real. 65,000 people here, man. 65,000 from over 100 well countries around the world. It's unbelievable. Well done, brother. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, look, I heard you say something once, and I'm going to tee up a question and see if you say it again. Is what do you say to somebody when they're sitting on one side, they're, they're sitting in a situation right now that's not perfect for them, and on the other side of this bridge is their dreams, and in order to get there, they need to make an investment in themselves. But they say to themselves, I don't have the money. Or I don't have enough money to be able to afford to do that. What do you say to that person? What do they need to do in order to be able to make a change happen in their lives? Yeah. Well, I don't know what I told you last time, but I'll tell you this time. You're a liar and a thief. What does that mean? Because, because you're a liar that you don't have the money. Okay, you're, 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 I, I don't believe that anybody doesn't have the money. I mean, if you really wanted it, you would come up with the money. Like you'd find if you a way. Really, 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 huh? You'd find a way. Yeah, you, exactly. If you don't so number one, one, have it money. tangibly, you'd figure it out if it meant enough. Look, I did, I did that show, Undercover Billionaire. They said, hey, could you get, you know, if we drop you off with no money? I said, yeah, dude, I can do it for sure. If, you, if, if I don't have any money, I can do it for sure. If you, haven't seen like, well, what, if you haven't seen what Grant, Grant did, they dropped him off with a hundred bucks, homeless. Uh, he got COVID in the middle of it and he had to turn it into there, a million, million told, dollar business said, in 90 days. It's crazy. I said, yeah, I said, keep the hundred bucks. And they're like, no, no, you gotta have the hundred for the show. I said, guys, I don't need the hundred. I don't need anything because, because you see, I know that I don't need money to do something. I need people. And that's why I'm here today with you guys, because you guys are bringing people together. And when you bring people together, like-minded people together, you don't really need money. You need the people around you to have money. Yeah, right? so you said you're a liar and a thief. Like, the, the, the liar yeah, is, one, is you can figure it out. What's the thief part? The thief is you're stealing from yourself. Huh. I meet so many people that are like, oh, I'm so honest. I'm the most honest person. I, no, no, you're a thief and a liar. Because wow. you're stealing from yourself and your potential. And, and I would just encourage everybody with your MO, MIO, I think you call these MIOs, these moments of inspiration yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and <laughs> encouragement is like, like, guys, you got to quit stealing from yourself. Quit worrying about everybody else stealing from you. You are stealing from yourself when you don't 
build the organization that you can build because of fear or insecurity or you lie to yourself or you tell yourself these little small problems that you have or you blame it on the kids or the spouse or your upbringing. It's all lies and you're stealing from yourself. So let me tell you what you told me. And you said it a different way. It's a, sim it's a similar message is if somebody's sitting there and they've got 50 grand or whatever in a savings account and they're saying, you know, hey, I need to hold on to that. You know, I don't, I can't afford it. You said, you're broke anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, dead broke right now. So talk about right. being broke you anyway and how up. to change it. You didn't set it up right for me. Yeah, man. I know, I know. It's my fault. So here's, here's the story. Here's how it goes. Guy says to me, he's like, look, I got $10,000 left and the investment in the thing is 10000 What should I do? That's the story. Mm. And I said, well, you should do it. And he's like, but, but, but. But I, I'm down to 10,000. I said, but you're broke anyway, bro. Okay, you guys think that 10 grand or 50 grand, you could tell me it's 200,000. Hey, I'm down to my last 200,000. Or I don't have any money. I got equity in the house. Should I get the equity out of my house? Yes, you should. You're broke anyway. Quit deluding yourself to believing you have something when you have nothing. Okay, the premise of this concept is that your security only comes from your ability to produce. It has nothing to do with your bank account. I love that. Your ability to meet people, to talk to people, to communicate with people, to exchange with people, to give more than you take is the very thing that will make you more secure on this planet. So last question, and I know we got limited time, but here's the last question for you. Everybody here wants to be a network marketing professional. Everybody here wants to go to the next level. We just inducted a whole bunch of people in Million Dollar Hall of Fame. You know, they want to be able to reach the top. They want to be able to expand their business. They want to. There's a difference between want to and do. You got to go, you know, get that, that part done. What piece of advice do you have for people who want to 10x their network marketing business? Stay away from one Xers. <laughs> I love that. Stay away, stay away from little thinkers. Like you guys got to, you got to leave here and you got to put the people in your life on a, on a, on a, on a spreadsheet. Like, okay, I got liabilities and I got assets. And you know, if you hurt yourself and you got a nurse, your sister's a nurse. Well, she's an asset. Uh, if your doc, if your, your, your brother's a doctor and, and you know, you got cancer, your brother's an asset. But if you're trying to grow your business and your brother's, can't think with network marketing and your sister's never ever bought any of your products, then they're liabilities when it comes to you building your business. One human being can be both a liability and an asset. You guys got to put them on a spreadsheet and say, these people, you know, when it comes to Thanksgiving, they're, they're assets. And when it comes to the other 364 days of the year, they're basically liabilities hmm. and people are, hmm. people need to be added to your network and your net worth, okay? And I know what people are worth to me. I know how much people can do and how much they can't do. Just because they're an asset doesn't mean they can fly my plane. And, and so that's what I would tell people. Last thing, let me just say this. Last piece of advice for the end of the year. I do this every year. I've been doing this. I think I told you, Eric, I've been doing this for, I don't know, maybe 18 years now. At the end of the year, I take all the money I have in all my accounts. This is advice for you, by the way, Eric. Okay. And I get rid of all of it. I walk into, I walk in January 1st, 2022 with no money in my accounts. I make it official to myself and to my staff. We have no money. You get that all We're invested. Starting. It's all invested. It all gets pushed. I don't waste it clearly. Uh, so, so what I do is at the, at the, at the end of the, the year, I take all my cash, which is going down in value every day and giving me the pretension, the idea that I'm actually secure when you're not, and I get rid of it. I put all of it to either into my business, my marketing for 2022, or I bury it into real assets where I can't lose it. I'm not talking about Bitcoin and stocks. I'm talking into real assets where I can get write-offs, number one. Two, my money's protected. And three, January, I get a check on that investment. But most importantly, I walk in January 1st. A lot of people ask me, hey, man, how do you stay so motivated? I don't keep money around me. I do not keep some illusion that I'm good. So I would rather buy assets and have no money because money is actually, uh, it, it, is a, it is a liar that will make you a thief. 
That's great. Because it gives you the idea, <laughs> it gives you the concept that you're good when the truth is you're not. You see this a lot in network marketing, by the way, with guys mm -hmm. that are producers, big producers doing two or three or four or five million dollars a year. And the next thing you know, they're doing two million a year. And the next thing you know, they're doing one million. I'm like, bro, when'd you quit building your business? They quit building their business when they started sitting on their cash. Hmm. So number one, invest in yourself. Number two, invest in your business. Number three, go to zero, at least at the end of the year, and invest in income producing assets. And Grant, I know that you uh, help people who can't figure out how to do a big project. They can have a little piece of a project that maybe you put together. You help average folks be able to do that in income producing real estate, for example. We help the little guy, man. Like, yeah. like we just opened a fund up. We just opened a fund up for people that have less than a hundred thousand. Starting with as little as a thousand dollars, can invest side by side, shoulder to shoulder with me on tr some of the best real estate in the world. So, like, we're doing, we're closing a deal right now. It's two hundred and thirty million dollars. We have, fam I got family members, nieces, uh, sisters, brothers, employees that thousand dollars, five thousand, ten thousand dollars at a time. They don't have two hundred grand sitting around. They can invest with me in these deals, get dividends, protect their capital, uh, get the cash flow, and then uh, not have to worry about their cash. And they can go spend a hundred percent of their time focused on their business and themselves. And let me do what I do well, which is I am the best real estate investor in the world. Okay. I mean, what I, I was like, I'm just, hey, how about that applause, by the way? I didn't hear that right there. Okay? So invest in yourself, but, invest in your business, use the income from yourself and your business to put it into real. How, how would people um, find out about how to invest in one of, one of the funds yeah, that you uh, put together? Cardonecapital.com. You get Cardone all the information. Cardonecapital.com. Cardone Cardone we just opened this three weeks ago. Uh, almost 30,000 people registered in 21 days That's to be exciting. an investor with me in this real estate.